Hello everyone. In this episode, we will check the medium term structure of a Logen stock. A Logen is uh, trading in uh, the, Saudi, the Saudi market or Tadawal uh, All Shares Index. Uh, the uptrend started actually in, in October 2016 when the stock was trading near uh, 11 and then it found a key top near 22.5 and then the stock started to build one of the uh, very famous classical chart patterns it has built the symmetrical triangle symmetrical triangle one of the major characteristics of uh, this pattern is that inside the pattern you can see the declining pecs and also you can see the rising troughs so we were able to draw two converging trend lines one is rising and one is declining uh, the other uh, main characteristic of, uh, of this pattern is a declining activity throughout the construction of the pattern and the heavy thrust in trading activity during the breakout uh, over the uh, triangle pattern or over the declining trend line of the symmetrical triangle pattern as as you can see the breakout here uh, more often more often than not uh, the pattern uh, works as a continuation a continuation pattern uh, which means it, it if, if the uh, trend that uh, preceding the pattern was an uptrend after the pattern you can see another round of advance after the uh, the breakout over the declining trend line so uh, now the stock or the poles were able to uh, clear this declining uh, trend line decisively volume has uh, increased uh, also nicely uh, and now we need to know where the stock is heading so to be able to do to uh, to know the target we have to go to the weekly chart and check the overall structure we can see here uh, the start of the uh, uh, polish signal was the uh, hiring uh, or higher uh, troughs and then the breakout over uh, 16 in in december has reversed uh, the medium term sideways to a new medium term uptrend and then we have uh, the symmetrical triangle here uh, we have a, a, a minimum measured target for, for this pattern. We can uh, get it from measuring the width of the symmetrical triangle and then project uh, this width over the breakout level to get the minimum measured target, which is near uh, 27. So this is the minimum measured target after the, su after the successful uh, up breakout over the declining trend line. Uh, and now the stock is, uh, is trading for, for the second week. Uh, it, it has closed actually over uh, uh, this uh, triangle or this declining trend line, sending us a confirmation signal. But where actually we, we have to, to place our stop loss? Uh, near the apex here the apex near 20 we have to uh, put our uh, stop loss and our first minimum target should be near uh, 27 so the stop loss is 20 and the target price or the first target price near uh, 27 thank you so much